Hello, everyone. It's Steve with Aptera Owners Club. Bill, one of our viewers, um, one of our community members, pointed me towards this video. It's a very short video, about one minute, that goes over the entire CFSMC um, pressing process at uh, CPC. So this is the first time that we've seen it all the way through. And so here you see, this is not an Aptera part. This is a company that makes um, articulated uh, parts for like articulated buses and trams and things like that. You know, if you've ever been on a tram, it kind of like, um, it bends halfway through there. So this is kind of like the bending mechanism. And they are partnered with CPC. You can see CPC right here. And here is the die right here. And you see all the little components of it. And this is the, the next part, the part that I found most surprising. Okay, this is a thermometer it's reading out 135 degrees Celsius. I don't know if you can make that on the screen, but it says degrees Celsius right here. So they have to uh, heat up this die to 135 degrees Celsius, which is 275 degrees Fahrenheit, which is a lot hotter than I expected it to be. And then I did some kind of uh, quick calculations and I found out that the specific heat of stainless steel is about 511. Um, so 511, if you do 511, um, it is joules per degree Celsius per kilogram. And we know that these, these, uh, molds, these dyes are about two tons each. So two metric tons. Um, well, I guess, so I, I have that calculate. And so two to four metric tons each. Um, and so this is for four metric tons. This would be one of the bigger pieces. Um, four metric tons. So if you do 500, so I rounded to 500 times 4,000, which is four metric tons times a hundred degrees Celsius, because you figure it's sitting at room temperature, which is about 25 degrees Celsius. And then you're increasing it a hundred degrees. Uh, so 125. So this is kind of on the conservative end. You end up with 200 million joules and then 200 million joules. Um, if you look at this, so you put in 200 million joules here, that is since we in the EV space tend to use watt hours, which I think is still weird. I think we should still use like megajoules or kilojoules or something, but we're used to watt hours, whatever. Um, this ends up being 55 um, kilowatt hours. That is larger than the entire battery pack of the launch edition Aptera. So it takes m more energy to heat up the die to, to this temperature than the entire pack of um, the launch edition Aptera. So I thought, it can, can this be right? Um, um, can this be right? And I looked, I found this uh, paper and it says CFSMC technology for high volume manufacturing. And I looked at what temperature that you want. And yeah, sure enough, for compression molding CFSMC, you want a mold temperature between 145 and 155 Celsius. Um, that is even higher than what is being shown in this video. So in this video it says 135. So that was pretty surprising, which kind of goes to show you, I think that if they want to uh, make this efficient energy wise, they want to, cause you know, it obviously it takes a long time and a lot of energy to bring this up to temperature and then it's going to stay at that temperature for a long time. So they might as well just press out a lot of pieces. So once they have this press up to temperature, they should just press out like a thousand pieces of this so that they don't have to bring it up to that temperature. Because once you have it, each additional piece doesn't require that much more heat um, to press. So that's, uh, so, you know, if you heat it up and press out one or two pieces, you're wasting a ton of energy with this process. Okay, so anyways, they do that. And this is the interesting thing. I always kind of wondered how... If you look at Aptera, they have these little metal um, fittings in there in the piece that you can put screws and bolts into. And I wondered how they did that. Well, here's how it's done. They put the metal piece on these little pegs that are on the mold and they kind of just kind of mallet them in there. And I think they're spraying some kind of uh, release compound on here. And then you see, this is the CFSMC, um, the compound, and it's kind of already molded sort of in the shape that you want. They put more material in certain areas and less material in other areas. And so it's already kind of um, roughly in the shape that you want it to be. They don't just put like 
a random sheet on here. It's it's already sort of made. So this thing is already at a fairly high temperature. Um, so they, they've heated this already. That's why they're wearing gloves. And then they put it down. And, you know, this thing exerts like several, you know, 15, 20 tons of pressure. I think it's actually thousands of tons of pressure. Oh, yeah. Let's go back. I think it says right here what, how many tons. Um, so, yeah, they're they're putting 10,000 kilonewtons. Um, let's see. A kilonewton, uh, I think 20 kilonewtons. No, 10 kilonewtons is about uh, 200 pounds. So this is like 2,000 pounds. Uh, I need to do that calculation. It's roughly, I think, 10 kilonewton is about, no, 1 kilonewton is about uh, 100 pounds. So this is about 200,000 pounds. No, 2 million pounds. Okay, anyway, it's a lot. It's a lot. Someone else do the calculation. Uh, how much of a kilonewton is in, in pounds? But that's how much force that they're generating here. Um, so they put a lot of pressure on there and then you see it come out and then you see the lifting pins are pushing it out. So those are the pin. They have these little pins, remember, that um, push the part out of there. So they're pushing the part out and you can see that there's some material here that's going to need to be milled. So like a CNC machine will come in here and smooth all this out. We saw the same things in the Aptera part. And then, yep, makes it really easy to come out and you can see Here's the little uh, metal pieces that, and they're just kind of been molded into the thing. And here's the little imprints of where the pins that push it out of the mold are. So these are the artifacts of those pins. And you'll see this, you see this on the Aptera parts as well. But very interesting um, how they go through this entire process. And the most uh, surprising thing to me is how much, how hot the mold has to be. And and how much energy it's going to take to get it to that temperature. So it's very clear that this is made for high volume pieces because if you just put out two or three pieces, it's just not going to be worthwhile. You're going to want to push out hundreds and hundreds of pieces each time you take a certain mold up to temperature. All right. Um, if you're interested in looking at this video uh, by itself without commentary, you, it's found on YouTube. I'll put the link below. It's called PEI Partnership with CPC. All right. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great day.